Hello, this is Hoffman Travel Productions with another Blender quick tip. And in this quick tip, I'm going to uh, show you how to use Wiggle Bones. It's an add on that's open source and free for anyone to use. And this bone or this add on actually makes it easier to animate um, movements, you know, stretchiness, bouncing, and things like that in your arm and your mesh without having to actually do it painstakingly, you know, bit by bit. And I'll leave a link of the add-on in the description below this video. I've uh, already made a model of this hand here. And I'll leave this uh, Blender project open or to be used you can so you can follow along. I'll leave this also in the description below this video. And it's just a really rough basic looking hand. It's not anything special just for this tutorial. And so we're going to go into one. Let me turn on my uh, screencast keys. <coughs> my wife and children, they're out today again. So that gives me enough time to work on this tutorial which is great I love it when they're here but it just helps when I can just we'll focus on this so we've turned on the screencast keys and this is the uh, the keys I'm pressing they'll be right here let's minimize this and we're going to add some uh, bones to our hand here so let's press Z to go into x-ray uh, view hold down shift and let's move it up with that middle mouse button and we're going to press shift A from the pop-up menu, let's cl click on armature, and we're going to pull this down and scale it up, S, kind of center it a little bit so it can be somewhat in the middle. I'm going to leave this hanging down a little bit so we can move this around, as use this to move our hand around, and we're going to go to edit mode, press tab, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> let me get something to drink here. I don't know that, I'll, that always happens to me. I just get something in my throat every time I do these tutorials. That's fine. We're going to duplicate this armature bone by selecting it, clicking the middle of the bone to select everything. Then um, Shift D. I'm going to drag this up here, <coughs> scale this down so it can kind of fit inside of the hand. Let's turn on our move gizmo. Move this up a little bit. Shift D again pull this over shift D pull it over shift D over shift D one more time for the thumb I'm gonna press R to rotate this and pull it on the X and the Z axis and now once we've had all our bones completely duplicated and made we're gonna connect all these bones to this main bone we're gonna have this highlighted hold down shift and left click on all the bones left click this one last then press control P then keep the offset and you can tell that it's been uh, parented to the main bone correctly by these relationship lines they all come to this bone and for the uh, wiggle add-on to work we have to go into edit mode or actually pose mode with all the bones selected uh, go up to the top left hand corner of your user interface press on, press on pose mode and click on this bone here and you'll see wiggle bones right there let's click on that that activates it and you have all these parameters here, but I just I just I'm just gonna leave these these are pretty much self-explanatory stiffness of the movement the damping amplitude I think it's amplitude rotation um, amplitude transition stretching and gravity you can just adjust these as you feel would be appropriate for what you, what you want. And now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, parent the armature to the bones. So we're going to go into object mode with the bones selected. Go into object mode. And sometimes it's tricky. I don't know if you have to. Sometimes you have to to uh, select the mesh before you select the armature, or vice versa. But let's just see how this is going to work out. So left click on your uh, mesh. Hold down shift left click on the bones and then press control P okay that's the, that's the right process and pick with automatic weights and we're going to leave this as it is not touch anything <coughs> we're going to get out of x-ray view by pressing Z we're going to click on our bone we're going to move it to this side and let's see what happens there you go see this is a lot more convenient than trying to um, animate each individual bone this works a lot better 
and it's it's just a lot faster and this is like if you want to like have a, a cartoon character animated with that Bon Yongi Yongi kind of appearance to the the body of the character to, to the uh, the mesh of it or a ball bouncing or like a heavy set person walking this would work a whole lot better with wiggle bones so yeah this is the blender quick tip for today wiggle bones add-on it's a great add-on works great um, and thank you guys for who have subscribed and those of you who, who will subscribe in the future really appreciate you guys and I will see you guys on the next one. All right, adios.